vote on Monday will decide whether Olympia High School's swimming pool stays or goes. But the community is divided. Madison Porter has why the pool's future is unclear. On Monday, the Olympia Board of Education will vote on what to do with the school's pool. The superintendent says this discussion came about after a structural study found the pool is corroded and not up to code. You can tell the color of the pool is a little green and the tile and equipment is worn out. And now the Board of Education has some options. The first option would be to upgrade and replace the pool and its equipment, costing around $2.8 million. The second would infill the pool and use it for other learning purposes, costing $1.24 million. And the third option is to continue to use the pool until the mechanical system fails and a decision is forced. The decision ultimately comes down to one thing. Depending on our finances and if there's any uh, additional revenue streams that could come in to help cover the cost of renovating the pool. Frazier says he has not made a decision on which way he will vote and is keeping an open mind. What we feel is in the best interest of the district from a financial perspective as well as a student perspective. You've got to take everybody's input into consideration. But some people in the community, like Amy and Noah Barons, are not happy at all about the possibility of getting rid of the pool. I think it's an asset for the school, and it would be a shame to lose that asset over really a minimal cost when you think about it over the long term, over lasting 50 years. And Amy says not all of the upgrades are necessary. If they just fix the pool, the cost of those items, the cost of the two new Dectron units and all that comes to about $1.5 million. Amy says it's important that her boys know how to swim, and the pool has allowed them to become stronger. And it's something that they can use for the rest of their life. Save Olympia pool. If the board votes to either renovate or replace the pool, the pool will stay open this school year and construction would start next summer. In McLean County, Madison Porter, 25 News.